Here's why I love green screen studio recording compared to building something out in the space that you have. And I'm gonna walk through a couple of the things that I love and things to consider about this build. So we have our desk mounted podcast recording mics. So you could have one here, one here. Both of those are going to come feed into our condenser here. So I really like these focus rights, the Scarlet. Um, this is going to run a line out into your post-production computer, or if you're running it into a field recorder. This particular build, I have a standard three point lighting. So this is our primary key light. This is our fill light over here. It's about half the capacity as far as output. And then you always, whether you're working with a green screen um, or just in a space, you wanna have a halo light. So it's also known as like a rim light. Uh, it gives you this haloing effect. So for this particular rig, if my subject is sitting right here in front of this desk, it's gonna backlight and separate me from the background. So you'll notice that there's a little bit of light hitting my head. This helps if you're working with a green screen when you apply the filter um, to make sure that like the back of your hair doesn't magically disappear. So super crucial to have your subjects well lit. I have this teleprompter, I'm obsessed with it because whether you're shooting something for your own data as far as recording gated content, an educational piece, I can real time use this remote and come back up two lines or I'm already through this section and I can bump down. So I love this asset. You can use a standard iPhone. Um, love how synchronized that is and the reflective mirror, obviously. You're not gonna have your eyes tracking back and forth where it's super obvious that your subject is reading off of a teleprompter. Nobody likes that. And another thing that I love for buffering to not see that eye movement, I am gonna always run a secondary camera or a third camera, depending on if there's two people on as your subjects or one person. So this is a two camera rig that I have my, where I'm reading from, and then I have a side profile shot. The secondary angle is super helpful for if you fumble through anything while you're reading, you need to find a space to cut back to, you can use a side shot to clean up and cut through. Having essentially four camera angles running and sound, and I didn't have to touch it in post-production. There was minimal, you know, intro, outro, that's it. So. It's a super concise workflow. It saves you so much time, your team so many resources, and it's so much more elevated in your final product than shooting in your you know, conference room at your office and hoping it reflects what you wanna be known for. I hope this was helpful in a little walkthrough of the difference in green screen build outs and teleprompter work and why this set rocks. And uh, if you have any other questions, please don't hesitate to reach out. Cheers.